just coconut and palm trees. I'm in my zone when you call me. Rest in my neck, it was icy. I'm liking everything I see. Now you holding my hand, kiss on the cheek. Things you won't get in the state. Damn you in shape. I like how your jeans be hugging and fitting your waist. Traveling out of the U.S. just to find a wife. I was watching a podcast the other day, and it went on to explain why men are traveling out of the states to find a wife. Middle up, they say that women from other countries are well educated, classy, elegant, very feminine, and they understand how to give and take in relationships. Instead of being demanding, entitled, and ungrateful for things that men do for them. And I'm not saying all, but some women in America have grown so entitled and demanding. Basically, they think that they can treat a man however they want and they can get away with it. Treat a man poorly, and then they criticize their looks when they're not in the best shape themselves. Agree or disagree all you want, but men do like feminine women. They like when women behave feminine, and they like when women take care of themselves. Not a good man, but they're tired of our BS. So much in fact that they're traveling overseas just to find a wife that respects them. The reasons that this woman, this attractive young woman, actually said were the exact reasons why men are getting passports. This is why the meltdowns are happening. This is why panic mode has been ensued all over the United States from these modern women making hate videos, uh, you know, name calling, sign language. That's why it's so rampant right now. That's why they turned up the knob on hating men. But men have figured out, and this is the reason why men have figured out they can go overseas, deal with natural sexy attractive women who understand like she said to give and take in a relationship understand that they don't control the relationship and they're actually feminine so yes guys continue to get your passport and date overseas because you're not going to want to look back she made excellent points in this and you know shout out to her Gusta Ashley. It's muy bonito aquí. Si? I know a lot of dudes are spooked or scared or I hear, I see them and hear them sometimes talk about, hey man, don't go over to Columbia, man, it's dangerous, they're gonna off you, they're gonna unalive you, they're gonna rob you, drug you, all this stuff, and this is like, bro, I'm going regardless and none of that stuff's going to happen to me, bro. I'm just not, I'm just not one of those fear-mongering type of guys, I'm just not afraid, bro, because I know I'll be fine. I'm already studying Spanish, doing pretty good, you know what I'm saying? So by the time I actually get out there, I'll know a little something, something. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to bump into some women who are uh, bilingual and they understand some English at least and some Spanish. So, I mean, it should be fine, bro. <laughs> like, dudes just be so scared. I'm like, bro, I'm still going to hit this place up regardless. It's still on the list. And I think you guys should do that. Two beautiful sites, a beautiful woman and the beautiful land around them named and called Guatape. Oh my God, bro. Can't wait to go over there, bro. It's absolutely beautiful. Y'all might hate to say it, but I love to see it. Told you. Y'all think we're dunces, but to be honest, some of y'all, actually most of y'all arguing with me, be some of the worst dunces of all time. Remember when I was on my last page and I'm talking about, oh, the passport bros. And I cut it short because they thought they could relentlessly siphon energy from me arguing in circles until the end of time eternally. Like, I'm not your kids, guys. Dear gentlemen, I'm not your children. Lack of love and attention and energy from my parents or from anybody in this world. That's you and that's y'all kids. Y'all lucky to wake up. Y'all lucky to have all your organs intact. And y'all lucky to be alive. This is what we've been trying to tell y'all this whole time. The worst thing that was gonna happen was not an internet argument. Actually, men are doing exactly what you said that they're not doing because you made the video. Are you this goofy? Are you this much of a dunce like you said you were not in the beginning of the video? You just making this video and giving it more energy proves that men are siphoning more energy, especially the passport bros, from you. You're losing it. And if we look at your life and we look at those men's life, those men are actually doing exactly what they want to do. You deep down don't want to be by yourself trying to use an OF account to siphon in money. 
let's, let's use the word siphon siphon in men's validation so that you can still you know wake up in the morning and it'd be worth you putting on makeup you still need those things you are still struggling by yourself you still have no man but you want one deep down so men are continuously siphoning from you whether you like it know it or not <laughs> passport bros are winning let's address what you had on your screen talk about eight of those guys we don't know if those guys are passport bros and it comes to find out those like maybe one of them were a passport bro the rest of the people were just other different tourists that were there that got into it that was it but 65 on alive in jamaica it's pretty bad because most men can fend for themselves as i always say but keep on giving and siphoning out that energy to us we're going to keep on taking it. We're going to keep on responding. And if men are in an everlasting uh, conversation with you about it and you're getting cooked and roasted, it's probably time to wave the red flag, the red flag and stop making videos about things and subjects you have no idea about. Because the Passport Bros are still winning out here. Passport Bros are proving why men are going overseas. And you right, right there, just your talking points alone are proof why men are leaving. You are the reason why the passport pros are a thing. <laughs> so congratulations for giving us your energy. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, what'd you say? You are so cute. I want to tell you the same thing. Were you going to tell me I'm beautiful? I just finished, like, walking by uh, six feet away. But you are beautiful. You're from the States. I'm from well. the States, yeah. All the dudes from the States are incredible. And and you, where are you from? Now I'm from Wales, England, uh, the UK. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, wish you weren't married, single. <laughs> it says single and looking here, though. No, it was the sticker that sent your frog ticket. Can I put it on? Yeah, you? go ahead. When I'm, did you get these tattoos? Uh, when I was 18 and 19. I'm How 28. Old you now? I'm 28 now, so. Look at that 22 year old. Look at these Americans. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> cool guy. He doesn't cool, care. <laughs> cool guy. But anyway, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you too. Here later? Yeah, I'm here. Where are you going? I, I live here, so. You live here? Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. it's my birthday. Happy birthday! Oh. Yeah. Thank you, so you yeah. need to tell me where to go. Um, what do you, good, like, Whew, I bet you any amount of money. Bro got the contact information. She was married. I did see a ring on her knuckle. But, bro, he definitely, he definitely crushed, bro. She was trying to get crushed. Man. And is it really that easy? I don't know, bro. But the thing is, women are, are definitely universal. And they have a lot of placeholder husbands placeholder boyfriends and they're looking for excitement and they're looking for you know something different and pff, some cases this happened to me i don't know if it's ever happened to any of you guys but i've had women like this before in committed relationships i don't want to talk to you i don't want to do this do that and then they're asking my boy for the number or at the end of the night they're like oh so they just forget what they said they start vibing with you or, or they just find something attractive about you and then they're trying to slide in your DM. Then they're trying to text you late at night and then they're trying to meet up and get crushed. <laughs> I try to have some real fun. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that is crazy. There's been mad controversy about my voice and what the fuck I said. Bitch, let me tell you something. This is the last time I'm gonna fucking say this shit. My voice is how the fuck I fucking sound. I'm not gonna fake some shit for 19 fucking years. That don't make no fucking sense. Bitch, if I grew up around the fucking hood, if I grew up in the projects, I'm gonna speak how the people around me speak. If I go to school with people who speak like this, I'm gonna speak how I speak. That's not how, that's not faking or nothing like that. You a part of your environment. Y'all bitches should know that shit. And bitch, if I live in China, I damn well be speaking mad Chinese. Like, come on, this, this is fucking science, bro. Like, Are you sure about that? To all the women, the modern women that had an issue with us going to get women overseas and always assumed that we were going to bring them back. Always question, how come you're not bringing them back? Always said, well, when you bring them back, this is why we don't bring them back because of controversy instead of controversial. She said controversy. This is why we don't procreate with those women uh, from overseas, bring them here, and then have the child, if it's a daughter, be subjected to hellfire and you know how they're going to be groomed in this hellfire. They talk about men grooming women over there. No, look how these women turn out. Cursing like a sailor, acting like a pirate, probably living a pirate-based lifestyle but while looking like a woman. This woman is so enraged, so upset because she doesn't understand that how she is acting and coming off is not attractive. It's only attractive enough for one night. Dudes will pump and dump you. And this woman probably doesn't want to be like this. 
this this girl probably wants to be in her soft girl era but the problem is she was raised masculine she was raised in a world where it's okay to speak like this it's okay to try to act like a man it's okay to you know assert yourself be dominant act masculine in the west it's okay to you know be rowdy like this with their partners it's crazy i don't even like using the word partners i say relationship because I'm, I'm old school so that's how i'm gonna say it but yeah this is why we don't do it and then at the end she said what this it's it's just science oh my god bro and they claim women overseas aren't educated they claim women can't say uh or speak english women can't have uh any anything they're just dirt poor over there they they can't formulate a sentence correctly they can't speak like what you have women like this in the american school system that speak like this this is improper this is ridiculous and this is why guys are leaving guys aren't even going to be looking this girl's way no matter how okay she looks no matter how cute they think she looks they're never going to give her uh anything they're never going to give her anything she wants they're just going to give her dick and send her home but anyway guys wow this is the end of the video make sure you guys like the video sub to the channel with post notifications on because i'm pretty much posting a video every single day <sighs> man mastodon's down bounty villains up you already know what it is we on the road to 40k we almost there um get your passport bro and just stop bringing women from from there back over here if you're doing it i know there's a people that probably are still doing it i brought her back she was fine it's very risky just saying anyway i'm gonna see you guys all in the next video peace i love y'all get that passport